So, what is your child going to learn in the 23-24 Texas school year? I'm going to give you a quick resource that will give you the whole foundation of what your kid is going to learn. Let's get into it. Not Magister! <laughs> Okay, so one of the biggest questions I get from parents as an educator is, what's my kiddo going to be learning this year? It seems like a really simple question, but when parents truly try to get a grasp on it, it gets really overwhelming really fast, especially if they just Google something or if they look at a district content calendar. It looks really overwhelming. There's lots of colors, and sometimes they don't understand the specific jargon of those calendars, or if they try to Google it, they see different states, different districts, and it gets overwhelming. So I'm just going to give you a resource that I as an educator use and that most use that'll give you in plain English what your student is going to need to master for this school year. So I'm just going to open up my web browser. I use Safari. Of course, you can use Chrome or anything else. And I'm going to go to the website Lead Forward. Now, the four and forward is the number four. But even if you just type Lead Forward into a Google search, the top results should be the exact website you're looking for. So I'm going to go to leadforward.com. Now, you do not need to sign in. You do not need to buy anything. Everything down to the letter is a, absolutely a free resource for you. So all you're going to do is come to the top and find the resources tab. Once you click on resources, you're going to see all this stuff. Don't be overwhelmed. All you're going to do, it's already defaulted to the content builder resources. What this means is these are the resources that I as an educator use to build my content. This is by law in Texas what I as an educator am responsible for your student learning. So you having access to that is a huge, huge powerful tool for parents because you can see in plain English, hey, this is everything that your kiddo needs to learn this year. So I'm going to go down to fifth grade and right here you'll see fifth grade and uh, Spanish. I'm just going to click on math. I want to know what my kid's doing for math in fifth grade for the 23-24 school year. So if you click on that, I know it looks overwhelming, but I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to know. This process standards at the very top, it's always just going to be like the broad umbrella. It's just going to tell you something very broad, nothing specific. Right here it says the student uses mathematical processes to acquire and demonstrate mathematical understanding. That's pretty broad. But what you really want to go down to is the green and yellow sections you see down here. The green and yellow sections are the readiness and supporting standards. What, what they need to demonstrate they are capable of doing by the time standardized testing comes down verbatim. So if you look here in the very first one, it'll tell you 5.3K. That tech, those numbers, those teaks or texts, however they want to be uh, pronounced, I, I get told different ways, but I say teak, that number represents the foundational skill that I as an educator need to teach them. So right here it says add and subtract positive rational numbers fluently. Easy. In plain English, you know that if you have a fifth grade student in Texas, they are going to need to know how to add and subtract positive rational numbers. Fluently means without having to use some kind of concrete model or drawing. They're just going to be able to do it. And like 2 plus 2 is 4. Minus negative 2 plus positive 3 is 1. They're going to have to be able to do that on the fly. Now, what is what are they going to have to learn that will support that idea? That's over here in yellow. And the very first thing that's going to support that idea for this concept is estimate to determine solutions to mathematical and real world problems involving addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Right there you can already see two very specific things that the state of Texas is asking from your kiddo. So, you can go through, you can download this. If you just hover, if you're on Safari, you just download it right here uh, on Chrome. I think there's also the same exact button. And these resources are absolutely free. And it will tell you everything that your child is going to be expected to master by the end of the school year. This isn't just what I as an educator use to build all my lessons. It's what re is required by Texas law that your student understands. So it's a super powerful tool in any learner, any educator's hands. So uh, I will leave a link in the description below and as well as a pinned comment. I am also going to make a video on your STAR resource. Just know that um, having an understanding and a grasp of what your student has to master can go a long way in relating into what they have to do and being able to relate what you do as an adult 
to what they're going to be expected to learn. Other than the snapshot, there is a lot of other things such as scaffolds, the academic vocabulary. This academic vocabulary, especially for fifth grade science, is really a super powerful tool. So I'm just going to show you that, then I'll let you go. So I'm going to go down to fifth grade. I know that the academic vocabulary is this column right here. So I'm just going to follow this down. I'm going to go to fifth grade and I'm going to go to science. Now, right here, it lays all of the academic vocabulary that they're going to not just be able to define, but use and apply within their constructed responses within STAR. So everything right here is all of the all of the vocabulary they're going to need to learn. And it's even sectioned under what concept. So you'll see the concept. And then you'll see all of the words that they're going to have to learn. Now, vocabulary, especially in science, is super, super important, especially now that the star rigor has really gone up with the short constructed responses and extended constructed responses that they're going to expect from your kiddos. So I think this is just a powerful tool for parents. Again, it's leadforward.com. I will leave a link in the description in the pinned comment below. All right, that about does it. Now, if you want to know what your kiddo is learning in this school year, just go to leadforward.com or click on the link in the description or the pinned comment below. Have a wonderful school year. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.